the problem on the planet to black people. Our people are very serious about not being... I was, well, just to hear uh, your views uh, on this question. Um, if a uh, confused black person uh, said uh, to you that racism, uh, white supremacy will be gone um, uh, over time, uh, what would your response be and how would you uh, react to what that black person said? Uh, it, it really depends on who it is. Um, first of all, our people are very sick people. They're emotionally sick. They're psychologically sick. They are sick. They are mentally ill. You, and, and this is, I'm not saying it to really put the people down, but you have to be mentally ill in this cesspool that we are in. And before I answer a person, usually, I, I have to always try to remember to do this. I have to ask them what they have read what books have you read? So if, you, if a person is just coming to me, like a brother said to me a couple of months ago, well, oh, I don't agree. I didn't even respond to the brother. Because I know he hasn't read anything. So first I understand that, that our, pers our people are mentally ill. That's why I recommend the book, Self-Healing Power and Therapy by uh, Baba Fukiao. He also has a book out, African Cosmology. So African uh, self-healing power and therapy that we have to begin to heal. First, recognize that we're sick. Go and look in the mirror and say, I am really mentally ill. I am sick. I need help. That's what everybody should do. And one way, well, I'll talk about that later, but it depends. Now, the person says, it'll be gone tomorrow. They'll be gone before that's gone. If, if they don't get themselves together, if they're committing subtle suicide, they'll never see it gone. So, first thing I want to know, name five top black psychologists. Name five top black historians. Name five top black educators. Tell me the last five books you read. And if you can't do that, don't come to me. You go, you go somewhere else, because I'm not going back to kindergarten. You go somewhere else, and then you get all that together. Then you come and you see me. I, I want inter to uh, uh, interject this. Uh, I had a brother call me Thursday, 35 years old. And he grew up with uh, my young people. And he said, man, I remember coming, coming there, and he said, one of the things I always remember, now he was about seven at the time, seven or eight, I guess, nine. He said, I remember you all didn't even have a TV. And I said, man, these people are crazy. They don't have a TV. Now, he's 35. He, he called me, right? He said, man, I'm going through something with the white dominators, and now I remember you all had African names. You didn't celebrate any holidays. He was a vegetarian. I told him, I said, yeah, let me tell you something. I said, we were 35 years ahead of most of the, most of the brothers and sisters. He said, yeah, you're right, man. You were, you were a ahead of us. So, but it's this knowledge. It's not that we're smart. It's, it's getting the information, being able to absorb the information, and respond appropriately to the information. So somebody like that, it depends on who they are where they are in terms of their own mentality. And if I don't believe that they are really on the, on the path, I'll send them to some books. You go and read some books first, then you can come back to me. Okay? 